Hi Virgo and welcome to your February 2015 Tarot Intuitive Reading with me. I hope that wherever you are around the world you have had a good healthy start to 2015. Now we're going to be doing four cards. Each card will represent a week and then there will be an overall energy card that represents the general energy of the month. And then later in the reading we'll do one other little something new. So let's see what's coming up for you for February. The Empress. The Queen of Cups. The Star. The Queen of Pentacles. And the Two of Cups. Well, I would have to say, so far, this is the most um, illuminated and beautiful reading even just to look at the cards it looks to me to be a very feminine month so lots of feminine energy coming in around you um, we'll start with this up here which is the overall energy of the month this is the two of cups this is the cup of harmony of um, balance of romance and love and relationships that are balanced in harmony they these two are offering each other long support so even relationships that are either going to come into your life that will be long-term partners or if you're in long-term partnerships these are the type of relationships that are the ones that will be your you know if people still into marriage that this is your marriage type quality partnership and this is the overall essence so either that a relationship will give you support during the month or you will find perhaps a new really strong love relationship coming in or you will find a partner who's extremely close to you will be supportive and nurturing or likewise you will be to them um, you've got two major arcana cards two of them very positive bright light feminine type energy the Empress, she is the epitome of uh, f uh, feminine energies of nurturing, love, compassion, tolerance, fertility in particular as well. So this could be a time for fertility, for becoming pregnant, or even the, uh, the seeing in of new babies within a family, or even adoption, something along those lines. It's about birth and uh, fertility. It's also about sexuality and people finding you attractive and um, admire you even. So sexually attractive but also admire who you are and what, uh, you, what you offer, your roles, your, your values. It's things like that. It's a very powerful, potent card. That's the first week. And even if you address it in the terms of health, it's literally the same. It's a omen of good health, um, good fertility, cycles, female cycles. Um, yeah, and then the next card, the Queen of Cups, she's almost her parallel. Even though she's a court card and not a major arcana, she, she exudes the same energy. So you've got two of these weeks in February. You're e this woman could come into your life as well. So she could be in there for um, family or work related. You know, she's a wonderful person to have around because she's the hostess with the mostess. They both are, if you like. Very um, nurturing and caring, protective. They listen. They've got ideas that they can offer you. Again, the same message for health and money. They're generally positive. This could be the offer of new romance again and we've got this one sitting here <laughs> on top of it um, or she could be you yourself too of course she could be you exuding this energy whatever it seems February is a pretty pretty good month um, the star another major arcana it's about uh, protection from above it's about balance balancing all forms of energies and emotions when the star turns up in a reading it helps to reduce any negative energies that might be around but there aren't any in this reading um, yeah the star 
what else can we say about it? Lots of protection or ideas coming up here from the spiritual realm. It can be a very spiritual card. It can start you on spiritual journeys. You may feel connected to spirituality. You may look into it. You may just um, have some protection around you along these lines. It would pay to look at things such as... Um, synchronicities new people that come into your life how do they come in is it like a really interesting event or meeting that you would never have suspected because if it is these people are often sent to you for very big reasons so take notice of that during the month the queen of pentacles she matches this one as well uh, she could be an earth sign this could be a water sign so this could be yourself um it also is card of finances, of prosperous finances, of, of everything flowing nicely with your career, with money, with feelings, with the home. She's very much one for the home, so you might have people coming into your home in the month of February. You might do some entertaining and people will really enjoy it. Again, so she might play a part. These two might play parts in that week of February or it could be yourself. Look, it's a really, really lovely, warm, positive reading. Really perfect, actually. So I'll move on to the next part for you. These unicorn cards um, have the ability to have a yes and no card in them. So they can, if you like, answer questions. So what I'm doing this month for people a little bit is saying, right now, ask yourself a question. And it may take you a minute or two, and if it does, stop the video, push pause, and then come back to it when you've got your question formatted. But then I'm going to draw a card, and we're going to, between the two of us, we're going to find out what the answer to your question could be, or a helpful um, lead in your question. So I'm just going to spread them out. So when you've got your question formatted, we will draw a card... And you're also going to have to interpret it yourself, how you feel it fits your question. And I will interpret it from my end to see what it might mean. You are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. Well, that's rather nice, isn't it? Doesn't that just go with the rest of your reading? <laughs> You've had such a gorgeous reading. Um, you've really shone out and now this card saying you're, you're gifted and talented to be honest it is just matching all those other energies now whatever your question was it would appear to me that you can find a solution to your question through your own innate ability so let's say you questioned am I going to get the job I applied for well, it says here you are talented and created, so one way or another, your intelligence and your creativity is going to help solve the whole question. So whether or not that means you um, make some inquiries as to how it's going, or you vamp up your CV, or you make contact with them again, or you, or you send them something really creative to help them to select you as a choice. Do you see what I mean? So somehow or other it's going to be you and your ability to fathom it out that's going to solve your question whatever your question was well that's pretty nice reading you've done remarkably well for february so i'll pull one more for you just one of these because everyone seems to love them intention Set your intentions. Um, I think that came out at the beginning of one of the readings for the new year. And it is, if you set your intention and your integrity for where you want to go for the year, you will find those energies coming in. Because it's like focusing on what you want, not on what you don't want. And that's the positive, powerful thing to do. And that's what intention is. It's manifesting the things that you want to have come into your life so I often think of um, being very quiet and in a meditative state when you do this exactly as the card depicts 
she's there on a beach, she or he is just with the gentle early morning sun rising and being alone and listening to the nature. Those are the ways that you can get into your true mindset and focus on what the things are that you wish for in life, that your desires are. And when you focus on those, you bring them to intent and then they can manifest and then you're on your journey. So there you are Virgo, I think you have had a powerfully magical reading. I wish you much wonderful intention for February and thank you so much for listening, subbing and liking, I really appreciate it. Much key, much aroha and kia kaha.